I have always been a clamorer of what is called peace, an advocate of peace. What is peace? Peace is when I give peace, I take peace. But if I give violence, I can never take peace. A man with violence can never get peace. It's a man with peace that will receive peace. That's why the Bible says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. In other words, God and his sons and his children are known for peace. A word is always good and enough for a wise man, but the person that is not wise will never listen to the word. He will say, whatever you are talking, go to your pocket. But a wise man will listen and take a step. Why we must always ring the bell? Because when we don't ring the bell, anything begins to happen. God will say, oh, but you are my servant. I'll give you this message. Why didn't you deliver it? So I am delivering the message the way it is in the realm of the spirit. The people in the helm of affair should trade with caution my own portion is to prophesy and say what I see in the realm of the spirit. If you like, you take the prophecy. You like, you don't take it. You like, you call it a hungry man message. You like, you take it for granted. But if I be a prophet of God, what the Lord has shown me is already done. God cannot show me what he knows that is not done in the realm of the spirit. The problem in Nigeria is not tribe. Because if you say it is tribe, I am seeing intermarriages. So I'm seeing intermarriages. So from one tribe to another, I'm seeing the intermarriages there, here and there. And I'm seeing the inter living together. This one's living there. This one's living there. And I'm seeing business together here and there. So tribe is not the problem. The problem is the people that oppose themselves, that refuse to call everybody and sit together discuss a way for this is a, the simplest thing to do is to have a meeting go and spend billions oh build this throw 10 billion oh fight this one arrest this one shoot these people who could detain this was is harder than discussion but all the men of God that have some visions and have seen vision and saw things have always talked about the dialogue, talk about discussion, talk about different things. But as I'm talking to you now, the basket is already shifting. Basket is shifting. Basket is shifting. We cannot be blind. We cannot, uh, you know, you know, we cannot be kept in the dark. When things are happening in the nation, then God Almighty will first of all reveal it to his servant, the major prophet of God, to first of all begin to speak. And when the major prophet of God speaks, then things will begin to take shape because uh, everybody has his own wing. When you go to the field of play, you will see footballers that are already in the field of play. They have their different wings. You know, that the back man is there, the goalkeeper is there, the center forward is there, and all the, 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 the attacking midfielders, they are there. And everybody is playing his or her wing. So we will continue to play the spiritual wing to be able to stand in the gap and to declare the hand of the Lord to prevail. And so because uh, the realm of the spirit is a place where God opens uh, to open the eyes of a servant to be able to look at things that are written and things that are definitely going to be. And so as a prophet of God, I am given the grace by God to look at the spiritual realm and say things and they begin to be the way God has already shown it to me.
Ah, Baba, ni me di yo, 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 